It's that access piece. It's knowing that that person is able to complete their degree, that they're able to do what they want to do and get where they want to be in life because of what we're doing. So that drives me a lot. You know, that's, that's, that's why I end up with the focus on accessibility. It's why I look at, um, why I'm, I'm also very passionate. I chose, I chose the field of adult learners. So my, my degree's in adult learning. And I did that because I was that student who did not go to college right away. And I know what a difference it can make for that person to get their degree and then be able to advance and work, to be able to do something that they never thought they'd be able to do before. So just knowing that we're helping people, we're truly helping people get and, and, and meet their goals, that's what, that's what I like. Accessibility, it's, a, it's an interesting area. It's certainly important to provide ways that these students can learn, but I'm, I'm afraid that it's not always possible um, to do it as well as could be done within the confines of the normal classroom setting. Um, you know, if you go to a normal classroom, they, you, they don't have a tactile experience there either. <laughs> so, you know, you just, you've got stuff going on on the board that they can't maybe see or needs to be described to them. Um, and, you know, if they're, it depends on which, which issue is going on. If they're deaf, then, you know, they got someone signing for them or they're able to read what I write on the board, but they don't hear what I'm saying then directly. But the signing person helps, you know, make that connection. So. I, don't th I think there's a lot of things to be explored here. I'm glad that there's people willing to help with this because I don't want to, I guess, err on the side of not doing anything, having only written work, you know, written PDFs on the, the course because I think that would be a big disservice to the majority of the students taking the course. And that's making sure that everything in that course is uh, as accessible as it can be for every student, including those who might have a disability. So technology that they use has to be available and, and, and accessible uh, no matter what. If they're using an assistive technology, um, maybe they're not using an assistive technology. You know, so you have to go through and, and, and check everything, links. Um, and, and things that are optional. Sometimes people think that if it's optional, then I don't have to have it be accessible, and that's not true. Well, to be honest, that's an area that I haven't yet been able to address in a um, good way in terms of being truly accessible. Uh, at this point, I've not had any students who've needed that, which I guess has helped. But um, that's a difficult um, barrier to overcome if you're providing as many resources as I'm trying to provide. And I've talked about this with our IT people, um, and I think there's a plan in place at this stage for that extra work to be done, but thankfully I could not do it. <laughs> so thankfully someone else is going to come alongside apparently and help creating those kind of scripts and uh, you know CC closed captioning of the videos because again that's not something I could see myself being able to do realistically, especially with the amount of video content that is on there.